Hello friends, welcome back to Travel Tales with Sandy. This is Sandhya or Sandy. Off to another sojourn, this time to Ratnagiri. As you can see, I'm at the other station. I'll be taking the Tejas Express. I'm traveling in this train for the first time. I booked a uh, executive chair car for this journey, which is five and a half hours from Dada to Ratnagiri. I'm going to meet my bestie of school and college days. I'm traveling to Ratnagiri after a long time. And after a delicious breakfast of Upma and Poha and a nice cup of tea, I settled down watching the outside scene. Some green, some dry, some barren because it was summertime and the changing topography of course. All in all it was a good journey after five and a half hours. I was ready to get down at Ratnagiri station. My friend was waiting for me. She picked me up and drove me straight to the Mekwada fish market which is the largest in the city. I'm not a great fish fan, but my friend insisted that I should taste the fresh fish from Ratnagiri. So here we are, as you can see, large fishing boats owned by the fisher folks. After making some purchases of fish, we headed back to a house where she made sure that I had this fish, as you can see, fish fry prawns fry and pong frit fry for lunch. After lunch, we left for another prominent location, Aribare Beach in uh, Ratnagiri, which is around 8 to 9 kilometers from her house. Beautiful location, beautiful beach. The cliff, as you can see, I'm standing on the cliff. Behind me is the Arabian Sea. Absolutely beautiful location. Clean white sand. But you can see the litter behind me, papers thrown by customers from the nearby tea stall. I wish people don't do that, have some civic responsibility. As you can see, it's a beautiful evening about to, uh, the sun is about to set. It was amazing slight clouds but definitely not going to rain and another beautiful sunset at Ariwari beach in Ratnagiri we came back to the city famous landmark Maruti Mandir Chowk it's an iconic place because all road leading out and into the city to Ratnagiri is around this chowk there's a huge replica of a fort on top of it an idol of Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaji on his horseback surrounded by the by his marvels and soldiers on food as well as horses people love to come and spend some time here enjoying the lightings and all that and after spending a couple of minutes here or walking around this chalk we headed for dinner to a restaurant where again my friend insisted I should try the fish. Uh, this time it was crab lollipop and the famous soul curry made from kokum and coconut milk and a lot of other ingredients and prawn fries. Next day morning we decided to set off for Kanpati Pule. Me and my friend, I was driving down. This is 18 kilometers from the from her place. Again, we crossed Arivari Beach. As you can see, beautiful day, beautiful day to drive down to this iconic pilgrimage town. Hi, good morning friends. Second day in Ratnagiri with my friend traveling to Ganpati Pule beach. Driving my friend's car. She has been kind enough to give me the gadi. <laughs> she trusts my driving skills. So when we reach Ganpati Pule, which 
18 kilometers from here from her house. We'll show you the beach and whatever possible. Stay tuned with us to watch more of the beautiful sceneries and locations of Ratnagiri with Sandy. So, Ganpati Puli is a very popular pilgrimage town. There is a Ganpati Mandir here, temple with a 400 year old Swayambhu Ganpati idol. I had visited this Ganpati Puli long, long years back when I was in my teens. I'll show you the surprise ahead in this video about what I am talking. As you can see, nothing about the temple had changed from those days to this. Everything was same except for the scene on the beach. Fortunately, that day it wasn't very crowded. So we had a very... So we are on our way to Ganpati Pule Mandir, the Ganpati Mandir. I don't see much rush today. Hopefully we should get a good darshan. Ganpati Appa, Moria. So, as you can see, the temple wasn't very crowded. On one side is the mountain and the other side is the Arabian Sea. I got a feeling of Deja Vu. Of course, definitely because I had visited this place years back. The temple in itself was the same, nothing had changed except for the boundary walls or fences created here, probably for better facilities to the pilgrims who come here. The beach was very, very crowded, though it was peak afternoon, probably 1.30, 1 2 o'clock in the afternoon. The temple pil pillars are nicely carved out. Same structure, nothing has been added here. Hi friends, I am having uh, prasad of Ganpati which is kichari and bundi and achar and very hot, awesome, hot kichari. By God's grace, today I got the opportunity to taste the prasad also. As you can see, the beach is very crowded with a lot of water sports activities happening. I even spotted a couple of ATVs, quite surprising. <laughs> You'll see in the video sometime in a couple of minutes what I'm talking about. I have a photo clicked from ages ago when I visited this place. Guess where I am? Who I am? Yeah, that's me, right? Many, many years back. Keep watching for more interesting vlogs on my channel in the second part of Ratnagiri visit. Thank you for all your love, support and please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment and press the notification bell for many more interesting videos on travel tales with Sandy signing off. Thank you. Bye. See you.